it's happening back again so I've been asked by a few of my friends and I had a comment on my video of like how you actually set up Sony mining for the Fire coin. Um, it's kind of easy, but it was is a little bit of a pain in the ass, I suppose. Maybe I'm a noob, so literally I'm a complete novice. But all I did was two miners in Google. Brings up the Google search, job done, click on the top one, this is the two miner website, sound. So I scrolled down to mining pools, solo, you can click on these and it will change. All right. So click on solo, then scroll down and I clicked on fire up. <coughs> Come down, I have a gander. All right. This is all meaningless. But yeah, all meaningless. Okay. So once you click on the fire coin, that comes up. Quick start. Okay. Weird because there was a uh, a thing here if you were going to do it anyway. So yeah, basically, if you're using T Rex Miner, <coughs> which I am, as you can see, T Rex Miner, I'm using. I scroll all the way up to the top. No, it won't go all the way to the top, but there we go. So yeah, I'm using T Rex Miner. So all I did to set up my T Rex Miner to mine Fire Solo was simply copy and paste that copy and paste that right take it to your obviously eth um, hang on so you copy and paste this one here right so you scroll down after you've clicked on remember what I did I clicked on quick start come down come down you can do it through this as well apparently. I didn't do it through this bit. See, you download that, then you add the password when you extract it and you can do it that way, but that was a little bit confusing for me. But what I did, remember, clicked on Fire, or rather clicked on Solo, clicked Solo, come down, click Fire, come down, quick start, come down, come down, this video here shows you how to do this installer here. Settings for T-Rex Miner. Copy and paste that. So I copied that. You've obviously got your T-Rex Miner downloaded and stuff like that. So you open it up. I went straight down to Firo. Uh, it was whatever was in here, one of these batch files. <coughs> Literally all I did was as you can see I've got solo and the pool um, let's just click on I don't really want to change anything um, let's just do this one solo beep or whatever it is so right click on the program and then you can rename it so you click on that and then you can rename it wherever you want I'm not going in because I don't need to. Then what you want to do is right click on it once you've named it. So whatever you want to name it. Solo, Fire Road Pool or whatever. Go all the way to the top. You want to edit. Then, obviously, you want to delete this whole config here. And paste the one that you copied in from there. So you want to copy that and then paste it in there, right? Once you've done that, you are gonna want your your code, your wallet code, obviously. Which I've done, I've got my wallet code from Binance. All right, so my, my wallet code is from Binance. You basically wanna take that whole code out 
that's already posted in there. And this one's a massive code for some reason. Take that out completely. Right? Delete it, put your code in from U space to dot P, right? Get rid of all that, put your code in. Then if you want, change your rig rig name as well, and that's basically it. And that is how you set it up. And then obviously you go to file, save, it will save it, exit out of it. When you go back into it, you double click it and it should open up and start running your uh, Faro solo mining experience. But that's how I did it. There's probably a better way to do it. Hopefully it's easily explained, like I say. You literally just need to go to Two Miners website. So we'll quickly do that. Look. Back, back, back. Two Miners website. Click it. Scroll down. You can click on these, look, pull or solo. Pull, solo, pull, solo. Click solo, come down, click Fyro. Come down, quick start. Come down. Copy and paste settings for T-Rex miner. Copy. Come out of it. Find a file in your T-Rex miner that you're probably not going to use. Right click, rename it, Fyro Solo Miner. Enter, sound, then right click it again. Edit. Put that that you've copied from T-Rex, or the Two Miners website, this link, see, settings for T-Rex, copy it. Dump it in there. Get rid of that code, because that's not your code. Get your code from Binance, or if you have another code from wherever, Firecoin, Sound. Stick that in there. Change the rig ID. Save it. Close it. Double click it to launch it, and you will start running and start mining Firo solo. Is it worth it? Probably not. Have I been mining solo for Fyro solo for however long? Yes, I have. 12 hours, 18 seconds. Have I hit anything? No. Have I made any money? No. But that's the chance and that's the risk you take of mining solo. Just took a payout there. I mean, I'm waiting there. So, right now, we're still waiting. My luck has gone up a little bit, so we're at 5% now. It was at 4 earlier, and it was at 1 last night. So, like I say, is it worth doing? Probably not. Right, you know, I'm running two RTX 2060s and one RTX 2060 Super on my rig. Normally does about 108 mega hash. 108 mega hash. Mine in solo. Fyro. I'm doing probably 42 mega hash. Don't get it myself. It is what it is. So it's up to you whether you want to try mining Fire O Solo or what you want to do at the end of the day. It's probably not worth it. But then if you hit a couple of blocks, then it might be worth it. I don't know. I'm just trying it. Let's see what it's about. Uh, peace out to everyone, happy mining, enjoy, hope this video helps people, and uh, yeah, sweet, it's as basic as I could make it, and I am a noob, so hope that really helps people, peace out, happy mining.